Hey, it's Heather, and I've got a Stitch Fix unboxing today. Yay, it's Stitch Fix Day. So this came in over the weekend while we were camping. Um, we actually took our granddaughter with us this weekend, but it came while we were gone. So my son-in-law was sweet enough to ride over here and bring it into the house so it wouldn't sit outside while we were gone. Um, if this is your first time here, I just wanna say welcome. Thank you for stopping by my channel. And if you have been with me for a while, thank you so much for continuing to come back and help me support my channel. Um, I know that I do a lot of unboxings, but I am trying to incorporate some vlogging and some other items in my channel as well. I'm not a real big cook, so there's probably not gonna be any cooking in my channel. Maybe some baking. I find that when we're on the RV, we do a lot more prep and cook. And I'm, not that it's doing my waistline any favors right now, but I definitely need to quit eating out and start getting back on track. So I'm hoping the things that are in this box actually fit me. Yay for fall, today is the first day of fall, so you know, more clothing, <laughs> more layers. I'm just am not in a good place right now. I can tell my waistline has gotten a little bit bigger. So things are slightly snug on me right now. So it is time to get serious, you guys. So anyway, let's take a peek and see what's in my box. I did ask for some fall items. Um, as usual, here's the return mailer, and it, this one's nice. It goes right back into the, into the post office. It's USPS into your mailbox. Now, you can take it to the post office too, but it usually I just pick it, put it back in my mailbox so I don't have to go anywhere. Um, my little envelope. What I love is that this has pictures and I can see what I'm looking at. Oh, by the way, I mentioned in my video last week that I really needed to get my eyes checked. I finally called and was expecting to make an appointment for this week to go in. I've worn glasses for three or four years now. Up until then, I never had an eyesight problem. I felt like I could see everything. I never, I never considered my eyes to be a problem. But then I started getting headaches and the headaches were consistently after I've been on my computer or on my phone or reading or whatever. And my husband was like, maybe you should go get your eyes checked. I, I honestly said to him, either I need glasses or I have a brain tumor, something's going on. So I did go in and I got my eyes checked and I was in a, not a super heavy prescription, but all of a sudden they put glasses on me and I'm still talking like three or four years ago. And I couldn't believe that I didn't realize I couldn't see as well as I thought I could. All of a sudden I could see details on leaves. Well, those glasses, that prescription is three and a half years old easy. And I kept feeling like my glasses were dirty. I was still not focusing as well as I thought I could. They got me in Friday and my prescription has like doubled. When they, they did, you know, they did the eye exam with no prescription whatsoever, which didn't go well. My current prescription, which was better, but still halo-y, or I felt like I'm struggling to see, I could make out the letters, but I had to work for it. And then what they said would be my new prescription. So I cannot wait for my new glasses to come. I'm telling you, I feel like I've been looking in a haze, like my eyes are fuzzy for a while now. So anyway, I did get in and I will be getting some new glasses. So I'm excited about that. I hope the ones I picked out actually look good on me. All right, there are five items in my bundle. Okay. Stitch Fix is a $20 a month styling fee, I believe. I do get it once a month. I know you can get it more often or less often, however you like to do it. And I do have a referral. I'll put that in my description below. Let me put on my dirty glasses. I can see the dirt on this one. These are old ones, but it is better than nothing. I'm going to read my note from Annie. Um, Annie's been my stylist the whole time. It says, your style delivered. Hey there, Heather. Happy fix day. Sorry the last fix did not work out, but thanks so much for leaving me feedback. I appreciate it. I grabbed you a fierce pair of olive skinnies that are perfect for the fall and would look fierce with any of the tops in this fix. I stayed away from rounded hems and looked for more fitted forming form-fitting tops. The LNA sweatshirt is super soft and will keep you cozy all season. I love all season. This is love. I think it meant to say long. While the cut from the cloth skirt is a fall classic. I love the cowl neck and the front pockets on the good human top and how easy it is to dress it up. The Markman spruce top has cute crisscross details and can be easily moved from the weekend to the weekday. Please let me know your thoughts about the pieces today. I hope you enjoy. Chris hug, kiss hug, Annie. All right, so I'm already I'm not super big on that crisscross. I don't know what it is. I got one last week or whatever, and I don't, it's just not my thing anymore. I don't know. All right, here's my bundle. I see some plaid, some blue plaid. And 
my price sheet. So I'm going to try to do this in the order of the price sheet so I don't have to go searching for what they are. Let me get over the noisy part. Um, after I film today, I'm going to be doing my um, uh, editing the little bit of footage that I got from camping this weekend. I did have my granddaughter with me, so I couldn't do a lot of footage. I'm not allowed to post her. She's never, she's seven years old. She's never had a picture on Facebook, Instagram, anything. Her parents just don't like it. So that's fine, but it did make filming a little more difficult. So you might hear her voice and you don't, you will see her hand at some point. But other than that, I only did a little bit of filming over the weekend. All right, I'm, I, the very first top is the second thing on the list. It's the LNA Jillian Reg, Reglon, Raglan, Raglan sweatshirt in the color dark gray. Oh my God, it feels so good. I love the little um, threads. It kind of makes it look like it is a Raglan. You know, it's the, the raw hem looking, not raw hem, what am I trying to say? The raw stitching has a slit at the arms like it's been cut, but it's been stitched on both sides. This is incredibly soft. It is a size large, which I like my sweatshirts to be kind of oversized and comfortable. Um, this one is a little pricey. It is $98, but you know, if I were to buy a name brand anywhere else that had a logo on it, I'm gonna spend that kind of money. Um, it is 96% tensile and 4% spandex. Wow. I bet this is going to be crazy comfortable and this would be great for camping. So, um, that one was dark gray size large for $98 for 98 bucks. I'm going to have to be in love with it when I put it on, but the way this feels, I mean, it's a straight hem across the bottom. It looks like there are some slits over here on the side. And you know, sometimes in, I like to dress up. Don't get me wrong. I do like to dress up. I'm going to a wedding this weekend and I will dress up. I have a lot of dressy clothes. I just don't have a lot of occasion to dress up. Um, I really like to be comfortable and I try to, if I'm going to dress up, I try to make it a comfortable dress up, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I mean, I wear, I will wear heels and dresses. I will not wear pantyhose. I will not wear pantyhose. I'll wear leggings and tights, but pantyhose and me just do not get along. My whole life, I have not gone along with pantyhose. So I will just do a little bit of spray on my legs and make them look halfway decent. And they're very, very pasty white right now. But that's what I'm going to look like this this uh, weekend in a dress. But um, I do like to, my most of my wardrobe is going to be comfortable stuff. And this is, it feels like it's well made. It feels incredibly soft. And sometimes I'll spend a little extra money for that comfort piece that is just going to be my go-to piece. All right, let me go to the next thing. This is the cut from the cloth, Boylan Flap Pocket. It's cut off. I'm going to say blouse. No, it says BU. Button down shirt. There we go. Read it off of here. Large petite for $68. So we know that a large petite is probably going to be the right length for me. It is a snap front rather than a button front. She did a good, is a tab sleeve, which I guess I could wear unrolled or rolled up. This doesn't give me much hope here that it's already coming across, uh, apart. Um, it does have a little bit of a rounded hemline. Love the blues. I love the blues. I will have to look. I have two rails flannel shirts, which this is not a flannel. This is like a, this is not a flannel. It has the idea of a flannel, but it doesn't feel like flannel. Let me open it up and see what the... Here we go. Oh, I'm gonna need my glasses with this one. This is a little print. This is 99% cotton, 1% spandex. It doesn't say anything else about it, but it's kind of thin. I, I do like it. I think this I would wear, I, I have actually a navy blue tank underneath here, a little camisole, so I will probably try that on underneath this, but that's cute. And that one was $68. This is the Market and Spruce. Um, this is the Criss Cross Cl Claria Cross back knit top. So, okay, this doesn't have that Criss Cross in the front. This has a little design in the back where you can see it's a, look, it's been cut and sewn to that. That I don't mind. That I don't mind. I thought it was going to be like Criss Crosses in the front. It's kind of a, a, a heathered gray. Is that a dolman? I don't think it's a dolman. 
just says cross back knit top. This is a size large. It's $48. It does look like it's going to be, you got three quarter length sleeve. It does have a seam here. I'm curious about this one, you guys. I think that's going to be nice. That'd be cute with a pair of leggings. And that one was $48. I'm telling you so far, so far it's a three for three and there's two more items in this box. And it's not a horribly expensive box. All right, this is by Good Human, and I do like Good Human. I have one other sweatshirt. This is the Bethy Cowl Neck Knit Top in Black Size Large Petite. All right, so it is a big, I'm trying to figure out how to hold this cowl up. Can you see that? It's a lot of cowl neck. That, this whole area is cowl neck. That's a lot of cowl neck. So we'll have to see how that lays on me or if it makes me feel like it's too bulky. It seems a little on the large side, I probably could have gone with a medium with this, but does it have, sometimes they have the little thumb holes. This one does not look like it has thumb holes. The other one I have has a little, you can put it over your hand. And this is not bad. This is $68. It's quite weighty. Are there any pockets? There are pockets in the front. Is it a, it is, my phone's going off. It is a kangaroo pocket. Well, I'm going to have to give that a shot. That's kind of hard to show, so it'll be easier to show you one foot with it on me. And last but not least, I have the, these are by Liverpool, which I love Liverpool. The Jacqueline Skinny Pant in a size 8 Petite in a color olive. And they have pockets in the back, pockets in the front. Is that a pocket? No, it's a sewn pocket. It's not a real pocket in the front. They are petite. They are a great color olive. They are not like a dress pant. They look like a dress pant, but they are that stretchy material. So that's either gonna do, it's gonna do one of two things. It's either gonna feel great, look great, or it's going to show all my bulges. So they look like they're gonna be an ankle pant, you know, to my feet, which will be a nice, you know, this with a pair of black boots would be really cute. All right, well, I think there are some really great things here to try, and I'm going to go get my husband and see if he is ready to do a try-on. Um, I'm going to try, I've got a pair of jeans on, so I'm going to try that plaid top on with jeans and this camisole that I have underneath it first before I put those other pants on. So let me just tell you real quick, the stylist pick subtotal is $360. You do get a buy all discount of 25%, which will take $90 off. So my order subtotal would be $270. Oh, that's my order total is $270. So that's not a bad price for this. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this. I do hear my husband on a conference call, so it's going to be a minute for I do a try on, but it will just be a second for you. Okay, this fits. It could not fit me better. This is the Cut From The Cloth Boylan Flat Pocket Button Down Shirt. It is a snap down. There's plenty of room here. It's crazy comfortable. It does have the tab sleeves that I can unbutton, unsnap and roll down. And the length here would be perfect to wear it as a long sleeve when it gets a little chillier. My dog just dropped a toy on the glass floor. The length in the back is great. The color is great. Everything about it's great. So good job, Annie. All right, now I'm going to change into the green olive pants, olive green pants, and one of the other tops. All right, this is the second outfit. Let's start with the pants, actually. These are the Jacqueline Skinny Pant by Liverpool. They fit perfect. They're absolutely perfectly fit. Um, they don't have any pockets in the front. Well, they have the little coin pocket. You couldn't even fit a coin in there. A dime would probably, possibly stay. Uh, it does have the pockets in the back. They're very stretchy, very comfortable. It feels like I'm wearing leggings. Um, so they're great. I even like the color. I think they'd be great with a little pair of flats. The top is the Good Human Bethy Calnet Knit Top. I think it's a little big. Um, the armpit holes fit like a cowl. I can feel my skin in there. The sleeves are a bit long. It feels incredible. I think the cowl neck seems to be a lot. Um, I have to look back at the footage and see what you're seeing. Does this look bulky and heavy on me? Um, it does have the kangaroo pocket here. It's very comfortable. There's no doubt about it, but I think, um, one size smaller would have been a better fit for me. So I may see if she can swap this out for a medium. So, all right, I'm gonna keep the pants on and try one of the other two tops on. All right, this fits wonderfully. This is the Mark and Spruce Claria Crossback Knit Top. 
Um, it is almost ankle, I mean ankle, that's not my ankle, that's my wrist, almost wrist length. So it's just slightly short on my sleeves, which I like. Um, there's a seam here that fits me right at the elbow. It's not a dolman, it fits me nicely there, I feel like. It's a good length for me. And the twist is in the back, so it's not a crisscross, it's like a twist. So I, I actually really like this. I don't know that I would wear it with the olive green pants. I think I would be more likely to wear it with black pants or jet denim or something, but um, I do really like the top. She's doing great, you guys. All right, let me get that crazy soft sweatshirt on. All right, this is that cozy, but not overly thick, um, LNA Jillian Raglan sweatshirt. It feels so nice. I put my jeans back on because I, I wouldn't wear it with those kind of pants. I would wear it with jeans or with leggings. Um, it does have a little slit here. Sleeves are slightly long, but that's normal, and I, I kind of like that for going into fall and winter. Uh, it has a little slit down here at the bottom. Oh, this is so comfortable. This feels so nice. All right, I'm going to look back at the footage, and then we'll do a recap. I think this was a five for five. I really do. Um, I did go on Stitch. I looked at everything online. I didn't think that uh, Calneck sweatshirt looked, you know, too big. It just felt a little too big. I liked the I liked the cow. I don't think it was overwhelming. Let me try to pull everything up here in front of me here. Um, I did look online to see if they had this in a medium petite because they sent me a large petite and they do have it in stock. I have already requested it be sent to me, so I will be exchanging the black. Um, what was this made? This was Good Human Bethy Cowl Neck Top for a Medium Petite. Um, so it said they had it in stock, and I'm going to keep everything else. Um, uh, clearly, this sweatshirt, I mean, obviously, I'm not going outside today with this on. In the house, it's very comfortable. Outside, it's 92 degrees today, so, and it's the first day of fall. So, actually, it's not quite 92. They say we're going to get to 92 today, so it's not really feeling like fall. Um, the... Uh, this fit me absolutely perfectly and it's not really a flannel. It's a thinner than flannel I can see me wearing this around the house out shopping with a pair of brown boots and denim black that black jeans or black pants with uh, black boots This can go camping with me. It can be dressed up dressed down. That's gonna be a keeper I was really surprised when as soon as I saw that Chris or the cross back. I thought it was gonna be Something different in my head. It was something different and I really liked this. I thought it, it fit very nicely It's gonna be a great piece for fall. I can wear a little like a bomber jacket over it or a um, What do you call this one like Adiron Adirondack jacket? I can't remember what it's called, but I have a blue one that I'd like to get Maybe an olive green or a burgundy colored I can't remember what it's called. It's got a hood. It can be a removable hood. It has a drawstring waist. It snaps on the front. I can't, if you know the name of it, put that below for me so I can request that. But I have one in blue that's waterproof, but I'd like a burgundy or like olive green colored one. Maybe even like a khaki colored one. I don't know. But I think this will look great with jeans, with black jeans, with boots, with booties. Um, it felt wonderful on. The, the weight of it is perfect. I can take this into from, from summer into fall not really summer but fall winter even spring i can wear this so that's a keeper and i thought the pants i love the color um i love the fit i can wear them with flats i can wear them with booties i can wear them with boots they felt wonderful i'm hoping that they didn't like accentuate the areas of me that i didn't want to accentuate but the discount was just too good for me not to keep everything because i loved everything and clearly this sweatshirt oh my god i wish you could feel this it's not like a fleece it's not it's like a really 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 soft sweatshirt material but it's also soft on the inside so not like fuzzy I don't know how to explain it, but I love it. I love it. So um, I've already checked out. I'm keeping the whole thing. And this was my style number 12, my fix number 12. So I've had 12 fixes now, and I think I may have had one other that was a five for five, if I'm correct. But this one is for sure a five for five, especially since I can exchange that cowl neck. But yay, five for five. Good job, Annie. Thank you so much. You know, my last fix, I don't think I kept anything. So 
this one completely made it for that. So I'm very, very happy. So I am going to sign off now. I'm going to go run some errands and try to get a few things done. I still have a bag I need to unpack from camping this weekend. But thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up. Tell me what you thought of each piece below. Um, I will try to um, link what each piece is in the description box. So if you want to request it from your stylist, you can. And my stylist's name again is Annie. She's a girl. She does a great job. I'm. I've never asked asked for a new stylist because what why fix something that's not broken right but I hope you guys all have a very happy day and come back and see me in the next video I'll see y'all soon bye